Hello all, today we will be doing teardown of a Shark AI Ultra 2-in-1 robot vacuum and mop. We first remove the battery and the roller from their compartments, then remove the dust bin and mop container. Start by taking off a handful of the screws so that we can remove the left and right wheels. Next up we go ahead and remove the side brush roller and we'll start working on getting the front bumper removed from the device. Underneath this bumper there's plenty of sensors, LED, IR <laughs> sensors. And we'll go ahead and remove the rest of the parts so we can get into the main bit of the case part. A couple snaps and the whole piece comes apart. We have a quick connect to disconnect the two main sub-assemblies and we'll start working on the lid. The top sensor cover uh, hides a few of the uh, top screws for the LiDAR. A few more screws on the back side removes the LiDAR assembly from the top case. This is really the visual brains of, uh, of the system that allows it to map your house while it's cleaning. Inside this LiDAR assembly is a motor which spins the laser transmitter and receiver. There we go, spin it around. It is sealed in place with a foam adhesive to uh, dampen vibrations and also keep a seal to keep any dust away from the LiDAR device itself. Just looking at the dust bin, pretty nice assembly. Uh, we open and close. You can see here's the water veins for the mop port. Here's the mop pad, uh, just where you fill the water right there. Digging in a little further, a couple case parts. This is the side fan which blows air to uh, help push things that are tucked into the corner in front of the, the sweepers. We'll go ahead and remove the rest of the cables now. Uh, I'm using a pair of needle nose pliers here to really get in there. Uh, try to not damage the cables as much as possible as we're pulling this apart. A couple more screws and we'll be able to remove the main PCBA of this unit. Clips on the front as well to really pop this thing off. There we go. Digging a little further, we'll remove the blower. Uh, this is what actually creates the suction and uh, pulls the dirt off your floor. Uh, once again, a couple little foam mounts to reduce vibration and keep it nice and quiet. This is a brushless DC motor um, with just a plenum to help direct the air directly through. This runs through a filter first to keep dust and debris outside of the fan impellers themselves. This small piece that we're removing right now, this uh, rocks the mop back and forth as it drives this, uh, makes it so that you have an actual agitation motion on the mop as you move across the floor. <laughs> Next, this is the sweeper motor. This has a small gear train inside of it. It's got some DC, just a DC motor and a simple gear train inside of here. This just spins the side sweeper. It sweeps everything into the uh, into the path of the main sweeping brushes. Over on this side, we have a few connectors, a few sensors, speaker, uh, the water pump, and a, a level sense. That's all attached right in this region. Right now, we are removing the water pump, the screws. Get a little closer look at those in a second. Yep, little diaphragm water pump. And that's uh, the level sense and then the bin detect sensor. This is a small speaker. And then here's the uh, main cable assembly that uh, routes the main power. These are a couple radar sensors this is for edge detect. Now we'll go ahead and remove the brush roller assembly, including its motor and gear train. This one is a belt-in pulley and a brushed DC motor as well. A handful of more screws and we'll be able to get this motor and 
gear train out of there. We'll take a look inside. They use the belt often in this application to keep noise down. Go ahead and put it back together now. Lastly, we'll go ahead and remove the front pivot wheel. This has just a couple screws and then a PTFE or slippery plastic bushing. And that is the entire assembly removed. Looking then at the front PCBA assembly, there's a handful of IR uh, sensors and edge detect sensors to ensure that the device knows where it's going, doesn't fall off cliffs. The spring loaded wheels uh, and gear trains here, that's another brush DC motor and gear train. The spring load allows this to go over multiple surfaces with ease, and the gear train just reduces the speed of the wheel in relation to the motor. And that's it. Enjoy.